What is up guys, Zexis here and welcome to my how to build guide featuring Echo, the boy who shattered time. Echo is a prodigy from the rough streets of Zon. Echo manipulates time to twist any situation to his advantage. He's using his own invention, the Zero Drive. He explores the branching possibilities of reality to craft and create the perfect moment. First, let's start with Echo's passive. Echo's passive is Zero Drive Resonance. Echo's Zero Drive Resonance charges his spells and attacks with temporal energy. The third hit deals bonus damage and, if the target is a champion, Echo gains accelerated movement speed. This passive is good for engaging and disengaging during battle. For one, it does a crap ton of damage and two, you can just like run away as soon as you kill somebody or you can try to chase someone else down and try to get the pentakill. Echo's Q is Time Winder. He throws a temporal grenade that expands it to a time distortion field upon hitting an enemy champion, slowing and damaging anyone caught inside. After a delay, the grenade rewinds back to Echo, dealing damage on its return. Echo's W is Parallel Convergence. Echo splits the timeline, creating an anomaly after a few seconds that slows enemies caught inside. If Echo enters the anomaly, he gains shielding and triggers a detonation, stunning enemies by suspending them in time. The shield that Echo gains from his W is ridiculous, almost nullifying the damage gained from the other enemy champions for a short time. Echo's E is Phase Dive. Echo rolls evasively while charging up his Zero Drive. His next attack deals bonus damage and warps reality, teleporting him to his next target. And finally, Echo's ultimate is Chrono Break. He shatters his timeline becoming untargetable and rewinding to a more favorable point in time. He returns to wherever he was a few seconds ago and heals for a percentage of the damage received in that duration. Enemies near his arrival zone take massive damage. The way Echo's ultimate works is there's a clone Echo following behind him 4 seconds past in time. And so basically this ultimate is kind of like a skill shot, kind of a timing situation and it can be used in two ways. One, in order to redo what you messed up. So basically you can go all in and about to die and you just immediately click it and you'll be like restored with like a bunch of health or you can use it to deal massive amount of damage to your enemies. The order in which you need to max Echo's abilities are max Q first, you max E second, max W last, and grab alt every single time you can. Some combos for Echo would be E and then Q or Q and then E. This would help proc his passive which does a crap ton of damage to the enemy champ. Another combo would be W, E and then Q. The W for the slow and the stun if you are able to catch the enemy champion inside. And then the E and the Q to do the damage and proc your passive as well. Trapped in that one position because you're basically getting saved from like the enemy damage and then you can just wait for his clone to get to the same spot you are and then just hit the ult and that would deal a ton of amount of damage to the other enemy champions. Now for the build. Normally this is how I build an Echo. I go Merlinomicon, then Sorcerer Shoes, to Lich Bane, to Zanya's, to Void Staff, and then finally Rabidon's Deathcap. And then there's Echo's somewhat tanky build that I usually go to, which would be to build Hextech Protobelt instead of Rabidon's Deathcap. And then you would build the Hextech Protobelt right before Lichbane, so it'd go Merlinomicon, Sorcerer Shoes, and then the Protobelt. And if you want to be a straight up bruiser right off the bat, just rush Luden's Echo before Merlinomicon, and it will guarantee to do a lot of damage right from the beginning. Last but not least, here are my runes and masteries. If you guys enjoyed my echo guide and found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, that helps me out a lot. It shows that you guys support me and support my videos. Hopefully I can make a lot more of these guides and I'll just see you in the next one. Peace.